Actually, wait. Uh, quick second. Let me double check to make sure the lip syncing is okay. Okay, the lip syncing looks okay. Just make sure that I didn't mess up. <laughs> okay, sorry about the minor uh, delay there. That was uh, annoying, but uh, it is what it is. He's breaking in! Now, that door... Actually, I need to turn my TV back on. That uh, is giving me the... Sometimes when, like, it, the capture card stuff activates, it causes all effects to appear on the TV unless I we turn on the TV. It's... Yeah. It is what it is. Anyway, though, um... I do remember we saw one of those doors somewhere else. I can't remember where the fuck it was, though. But I do remember we saw one of those before. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They are all heading up here. You're not get up here? Nope, here it comes. Hey, Columba, that wasn't good. Yes. Dark souls are mine. There were three of them. I only got two. But no three? <coughs> well, maybe there wasn't. I thought there was three of them. I think I need to make that jump just white.
I still gotta go back to the old area and go down that one pathway that I thought was I thought it was heading towards the boss, but apparently it wasn't, so I gotta so still, still see what was down there. I mean technically it probably was just hearts, I mean to be fair. I mean there was only like two hearts left in that. Not quite sure what we're doing over here, though. big room or just some place that looks like it. No, this is somewhere else. There's a whole bunch of bales everywhere. Well, no. Those bales can we spawn. It's just the contents depend. Uh, no, this, this is somewhere else. Besides, a big wound wasn't an injured wound, it was in a completely different area of the asylum. Different room. So if I fall in there, I'm not coming back to this area. And there were several other paths over here still, so. And that's locked, wherever the hell that goes. out here. So that was that door, right? Yeah. So I think that's the one we came out of. And okay, so yeah, there shouldn't be anything else. And, right, well, then I guess it's down to where the big monstrosity is. Yeah. Hi, big and ugly. How are you doing? Oh, whoa, hey, who, who let you out? Who let the dogs out? Boop, boop. What up this one? Hey.
Hey, that worked out nice. Yes, the Dark Souls are mine. On the upside, we're getting some of the 15 that's in the area. Bad thing is, I still don't know how many we need for the next area, the uh, ne next level, though. But, we're getting some extra Dark Souls, and for every one of those, that's one less we have to find somewhere in the wild. Another big one? Nope. Uh. Mm. Hold it again? Oh wait. There's some stuff up there. Voodoo magic. Oh, oh there's no way. Somebody wants in here desperately. Oh lord. Holy cow, that's a lot of death and decay and possibly some insanity. It. Oh, I can get in it. Oh, okay. You're just taking me through all kinds of areas here. something. Oh, 
Oh, whoa, wait. Seems like a lot of magic, though. Yes, Dark Souls are mine. I doubt there was anything in the actual room. I have my damn glasses. That leg butt came out again. Great. Dark Souls. Dark Souls are mine. These are weird containers for these things, though. Dark Souls are mine. Okay. We got switch heal. Kind of redundant to have a switch just for that. Is there someone else up there? Oh yeah, there's a ventilation now. Not sure where this will take us. Lord, how big is this place? I wasn't exactly expecting going to some extended edition of the boss room or something. <laughs> Secret path into another area.
wonder if these are supposed to be hints. The weird thing is the, the red and the... Quick, I'm gonna have to get some tape. Get my white side of the glasses because it's not white still. Hmm. The thing is, the web isn't the same on all of them either, though. Okay, I think the other one I found, I filled them all up, didn't I? I'll probably maybe empty them. Nothing like in here. Yeah, let's see, we can see the thing. Hmm. Look at like a clock. Well, there's only five spots. So perhaps I need to look at more as a five spot or thing instead of. Now the first one has three da uh, four dashes. Uh, actually, it's a completely different looking because the other two have like red, white, and that one has like four dashes. Uh, So I guess if it goes all the way around, it's five, so that's, that would be two and a half, two and a half, and three and a half. Well, maybe, well, assuming one, like, force the north would be counting as one instead of zero. Hmm. Ammo on top, ammo on bottom. Can't we do a half though?
Oh, so you mean I it's not necessarily in this womb you mean? So the gauges actually don't have anything to do with it then. See, because the other one I remember, I just, I'm pretty sure I just filled them to the top and then it went cool. Because these two gauges are on the same spot. If it's not the gauges, Still in. Yeah, because I mean, it wouldn't make sense for it to be uh... hmm. Yeah, so it's not the gauges. And there's still some locked wounds and stuff, so. Nothing else over here, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Now the question is, are they in the actual area of the machine? Or can it be in a completely different place altogether? Because if it's in a completely different zone altogether, that probably will make this a lot harder. Closed door we can't open.
pretty much back here. The other way had the two pathways had um keys. Hmm. Maybe is there some kind of anything in here that looks like any kind of visual aid in this? Are the solutions in the area they're in, or are they in other areas? That's probably a little too backtracky for my taste if they're like in completely different zones. You gotta find an arbitrary hint at something in a completely different area and you don't know which of the machinery weenery thingies it's supposed to be for. So, I either spend forever wondering around here or thinking whether or not the solutions in this actual area somewhere, or B, I leave, have everything respawn and try to aimlessly search for somewhere that may have the solution only to realize that it's actually here to begin with. See, that's the problem. I guess we lost Dan. I'm not sure if I should continuing wandering around here or then. Then we have two doors that are locked. I don't know. I don't see anything anywhere that looks like a clue in the area for it.
that way. Same textures on the machine. So I think it's in the book. Something about the prophecy, maybe. Oh, well, those are those creatures. Bossy and the fouls. I'm assuming you're talking about the foul in the prophecy. Okay. The other um the other one I found was just uh it was just uh in the engine area, wasn't it? I mean, there's a 
lot of yields and stuff. London Underground? Uh, that's in Texas. I got Florida, Louisiana, and Texas. I would assume London would be that Jack the Whipple guy, I would assume. So then uh, the solution's somewhere else then. Uh. Oh, that's annoying, because that means to get back here, I have to go back to the Texas jail and run all the way back to this thing. Well, that's annoying. Well, I guess let's go check that one path then. So I guess it's back to looking for, um, Dark Souls and, uh... Dark Souls and, uh, more web cages then. Uh, I, I only found two so far, and I used it on the, the, the guy from the Vietnam War that was at the camp, so I need to find more whip cages and dark souls. So, I gotta find my way all the way back to that one spot. don't have any extras and as far as I remember none of them had uh, none of them had uh, spoilers on them I, I can't even get back. Oh my goodness, this, that sucks. So that means I actually have to go all the way from here. Uh, as far as I remember, I checked all five of them. Now that was, of course, when I first came here. When I first came here, I don't know if maybe they just magically appeared there after some time but uh, as far as I went then boy I went up to all of them because uh, there were hearts on like those little platforms there so I'm pretty sure yeah see I'd want to like I can understand the solution being in the area but I don't really like it just being Somewhere completely different. 
especially gives you no if it gives you no context to that. So this was down here. So I have to find my way all the way. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be annoying. Look at all these dudes that want me dead. I gotta win them how to get there. Need one more heart too. Get where that was. See, I think I had to go this way. on the second floor here. Here it is. Here. Okay, now don't fall in the hole. See what's down this path I missed. Ooh, what in the fuck is all this? Oh, whoa, ow! Another shortcut. You tell me you could have shot that this whole time? Or was that one sided play? It's kind of weird either way. Alright, well, that didn't really lead anything too amazing, and we didn't even get a heart out of it. So, boo. Okay, Dan's claiming that Jack should have a rib cage on him all the way. So. We'll go take a look at the second Jack the Whipple dude. I don't remember what that being one. I can't remember which door it was. The one with the weird techno music. Nope, that's the, the weird financial guy. Yeah, wait, no. No, that wasn't. Wait. Jack was the serious looking guy, right? Let's see, yeah. It was. That guy. Okay, it wasn't the techno one then.
can't see in the web cage thing. So we gotta find another web cage thing. So at this point it's back to Dark Souls hunting then. So I'd say the fourth place to go is Temple Life, because Temple Life, if I remember correctly, had a bunch of places to dive into, if I remember correctly. Oh! Interesting. No, oh, wait, that was. No, th this just had walking. Um. What, the, what? What temple was it? Was it this temple? One of the temples had diving. <laughs> well, that's interesting to know. See, uh, white, white these down. I need to know. I need to know these things for the the, the review. So what it sounds like is they ran out of time and just dumped two of them. On the, uh, oh, yeah. The bitch is alive. Uh, it sounds like they just ran out of time and didn't have a place for the other two. So I guess with this Wii Master, they took the time to actually do that. So this was where the, the drum stuff was. Now we came back here to do that. I don't think there was... I don't see how we dived... Uh, well, actually, did I? Actually, I don't remember. Did I take the time? I think we got the power up, and then I think I had to go. I think there was places to dive there. And that was just water there. Let's see... No, but there was a side path, actually, now that I think about it. There was a there was a side path in the back area, though, of the Temple of Life, though. There was. I remember it now. So that's interesting, though. So, so far, there was a new boss. Two whip cages were hidden. See, that's something I'm going to have to... Because I don't have the original to pull from so like if you got anything like that that's useful or um, or if you got uh, anyone who's very good on information on that that would be incredibly appreciative information Is this way? Yes. can't burn me now motherfucker Yeah, yeah, shadow man, shadow man, yeah, yeah. Lord, how many you fuckers over you? Another, uh, another healing spot too. Nice. Push block.
Discord you the two big differences so far. What? Oh! This going back to the old area. Disc- oh, okay. Hey, you can't blame me on that. See, oh, so we only push the- this, yeah, this was a spot we always been in. Then, okay, then. Right, let's just head again back to Temple of Life then and uh, teleport, get the health. Shadow Man differences. OG, no boss in the life area. Just a pal to shoot and jump in like in the play wombs, which so the play wombs is the only other area with that. So when they did that, they made it where you didn't actually know you could do that. That's kinda kinda weirdly hilarious if it wasn't for the fact they spent forever trying to find the way forward. Whip spoilers. Two wood spurs only in corpses allowing the figure. One of the I believe was on Jack's corp was allowed to go to his area easily and find which was had more helpful info in it. Without having immediate access to song killers, you don't know which to visit for and can make the game harder for yourself. Well s fuck. Sounds more like the 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 additions made the game worse instead of better than. Oh, generous! I mean, the game always has tons of fucking backtracking if you have trouble missing things. Fills me with its savage fire. So, like that that seems kind of like a ah, I hit trigger button instead. What? Okay, well that explains what was happening there, there's a few other times. Shoulder, so apparently the, the L2 trigger counts as selecting. Okay, we got six Dark Souls from there, that's not too bad. See, I, I know we saw another one of those doors, and I don't know if it was... When we were running around the summer camp, or if it was somewhere else completely, I don't remember where that was. I mean, it would make sense it was at the summer camp, so there was that thing that was there. That don't remember. But I do remember seeing it somewhere. I guess we could re explore the summer camp? Well, actually, wait, I think the map. Because uh, I'm. Like, those are the things to stop that. The, the map showed that, if I remember correctly. So, okay, so. Okay, engine block. So... There's one at Down Street Station. One at Garden Jail, which we... Huh. There's three of them. Gwendolyn J That's the... That is the... That plate, right? Gwendolyn Jail. There's three purple lines going to Gwendolyn Jail.
Huh. We only found one. That's a little strange. We have them connecting to the jail. One connects to Down Street Station. It does say Jack's Journal, Prism One, Pinwheel. Let's see. Hmm. It shows three connected to the jail. You see, it doesn't have four. It has the bayou, the jail, New York station, and down, down street station on the map. It doesn't have the the Florida location listed on this uh, map that came with the original game. Hmm. Cathedral Pain is the place where, yeah. So, that's also a little confusing. So, the the bluish yellow lines, I'm assuming, is supposed to represent the, the links to the living world. But, again, there's three of them connected to the jail. Like, is that a cause? Like, they didn't rep- Oh! Oh, here, okay. It shows the icons in them, so... So I guess, uh, cause they didn't make the map bigger, I guess? They just lumped three of them into one box. Okay, so... So that means each, each one has likely one... So yeah, so that other door I must have saw in Florida then. Cause there's three of them connecting... Yeah, so... Okay, okay. I don't know why they didn't just make two additional uh, mental areas or something. Oh shit, just a second. I gotta, I gotta buy two things here real quick. Uh, Video Games Plus is putting uh, some uh, two of the Alchemist games. Final Sale, boom boom, put those in. Give me a second here, I gotta log in, buy these before they sell out. These are very expensive. <sighs> Stupid thing. I was waiting for them to do the tweet about, because they they said they were hinting at something, and I asked them about the, uh, lu 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 Because they, they did a, a, a thing of that, and it, 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 it um... Oh. Give me a second, sorry. PayPal, please. Hmm. That goes for Canadian money being cheaper, right? <laughs> Here we go. Two more Alchemist games. Technically, I had the other one on the Switch, but I'm just going to assume the Switch version is probably worse, but I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it's probably not a bad idea to snag it anyway. Actually, you know, because I didn't want... Let's see. I can do a quick look on it. Oh yeah, the, the PS4 version's a bit pricey. Also, I think the the Switch version I have was the PAL version too, which isn't actually worth a lot actually, yeah, so... 
Oof. Either way. I'll figure that out later. The other one, though, I know. The other... This other one here that he was selling was quite expensive, if I remember correctly. Let me double check. Uh, yes. Uh, a loose copy is $109. So, uh, yes. That, that is quite expensive. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I would like to get a copy of that. Did you go into the prison door in Florida? Uh, no. That's why I was... I know I saw a door, but I... I don't remember where it was, but if I'm understanding the map correctly, it had to have been in Florida. And it would make sense, because I found the prison thing on the boss, too, in Florida. But yeah, see, now I got I got another of the uh, Alchemist games that was really expensive. So, bam, boom. So, Pad's probably like, yes, yes! If anyone else is interested in it, actually, here, I'll, I'll be very nice and I'll... Just toss a link in the actual chat if you want to check them out. Yeah, so it's some, it was somewhere in Florida, so we we'll basically have to dig around. <laughs> and the question, like, the thing is, I don't know if it was, I don't remember it being behind him. Was it behind him? I don't remember it. I remember finding it before I even... I'm pretty sure I remember finding the door before I even was able to be Shadow Man in the real world, if I remember correctly. But maybe I'm, maybe I'm not remembering it correctly. Yeah. Well, I guess either way we go look somewhere. But I, I want to say I saw it before this point. Yeah, man. See, this is, this is why I hate backtracking games. If it's not a pure Metroidvania-esque kind of design, I just really don't usually enjoy this kind of backtracking much. I mean, overall, like, this isn't the worst kind of thing of it. Like, I, I honestly think one of the worst things is Donkey Kong 64, because it forces you to change your fucking character a bazillion times. I see you over there. I don't think I'm stupid. I'm pretty sure it was before this, though, but I just, I, uh... And this was so annoying to get down this area when we were here last time. It was either behind the boss, or it was somewhere before this. I just don't really 100% fucking whenever! We're gonna run around like lunatic idiots for a while now. But if we can find it, that will give us likely several more Dark Souls, which is basically why I want to find it, because if it takes us behind the engine room to get more Dark Souls, that's a good thing, because then that means... Oh yeah, I did have this so long, so this should get us behind the boss faster. Now, if it was somewhere in the cave, though, that's going to not be fun either. See, I have to wonder, um, these weed design things of the quote-unquote uncut content, I have to wonder, like, was this stuff that the people who we mastered came up with? Or were these, like, actual, like, design documents or something that the original devs have and or and or was it something they talked to them about that that's what i would also like to know so let's see if it was behind the boss oh you know i could be doing some free ammo or something nope i'm always pulling ammo Whip on that. How are you doing today, by the way, Pad? 
I mean, I do sell stuff, but it's usually stuff that I just flip easily with uh, GameStop, usually, though. Like, like Celia selling, yeah, I don't usually dabble into that too much. Like, a part of me wants to, but another part of me is like, uh, I just don't want to deal with shitty people trying to whip me off and shit. Okay, I remember the temple. I don't remember seeing the door in this temple. I don't remember it having to do with this temple place. God damn it. When I wouldn't give for in-game map to mock shit like this. I don't remember it being in here. Back to the top? That's where we found one of those thingy bombs. But yeah, that forced alchemist game that's for sale there, that, that's uh, pretty pricey. What did he look down for? See anything down here? Actually, out of all the American ones, I wonder how many I have at this point. Like, I would say I probably have most of the American entries at this point. If not all of them. Which is probably why, like, uh, other than them making new ones, they're probably interested in, uh, starting to bring the old ones back from the grave. Don't follow you, death. <laughs> I want to say I saw it before the nighttime effect took place here. I may... Like, I want to say I went nimble. It was just down some hallway, I want to say. Yeah, and this took me back to the shortcut here. Like, it was either... Somewhere in the cave, or... I just don't... Oh, I don't really want to run around all of fucking Florida. Just find where the fuck that door was. Oh, why? The game's so cool. So it was either somewhere before going under the water or somewhere in this fucking cave. And I just don't remember like oh my goodness. We gotta go back to the beginning of Florida then. Let's see if my memory was maybe white. I mean, I semi, like, I would never seeing it, and I'm pretty sure it was just down some, like, random alley. Hmm. But I mean, I just went everywhere behind the boss.
made this place so fucking big. I wonder if there are enemies here now, because we, like, we spent a long time in this area just fighting a few crocodiles and there being nothing, so I wonder if there's a lot of enemies here now. It's also nighttime too. I mean, it would make sense for it to be behind the boss, but, like, I want to say I remember it being before I even got Shadow Man, like, that's what I feel like. Like, uh, damn it. Hey, Corsa. Oh, this is why I like having maps. Uh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't like in any buildings. It was in one of the one of the caves we go in. Uh... Dorkun, where are you? We need you so we can blank, blank, and blank, and blank, and not spoil the blank, but blank. You know, blank and not spoil the other blank, but blank. Dorkun. There's that, well, we can't go back once. Fuck you, crocodile. Whoa! That thing comes back? Set that back up. I like all shenanigan bullshit on that. Can't just rebuild a gun after the, the model was gone. Map. A, a, a nap. I, why do you think I need a nap? You grab, grab the edge, please. Thank you. Oh, you actually know Shadow Man? This was with the PD ones, with the videotape. I think we're almost back to where the, the checkpoint is, I think. No, wait. There was a building we have to go through. Oh no, N64. You, you are the only one. Just face it, Dan. You're old. I don't remember these dogs over here. Back to the beginning? <laughs> Did I miss a shortcut? <laughs> apparently, apparently I missed a shortcut.
That's kind of funny and sad. And, and, and there's this interesting looking building up here that I don't want them both getting to. But he apparently doesn't want to grab the ledge. So I guess he can't get up there then. Stop growling at me. Yeah, I guess back in the day it probably would be pretty creepy. Yeah, I can't grab any of the ledges, so I guess you can't really get in there. I'm trying to find a door. Oh, and apparently I also missed some hearts over here. And this mean crocodile that happens to be over here for some reason. <laughs> I missed that. to a new hundred for basically our last uh, health point. Here's all the waving. This is so different from the prison. Like the prison, you know, is just full of enemies. This basically has so little of anything to fight most of the time. Somewhere in the cave. Where the f fuck? I'm just saying, I wouldn't count it as a Metroidvania because it does not loop to old areas. I mean, essentially, once you get to, like, a middle-ish area, it kind of just loops back around from there. But, like, other than that, there aren't, like, a whole bunch of, like, you know, ill connectioning loops between a lot of the areas. This area is so big. <laughs> boy, you can grab up there. Fast and shallow, so uh, looks me. Well, to be fair, I've only really played uh, Metroid Prime, and that was a long time ago, and that was. I probably had very little interactions with a lot of Metroidvanias at that time. 
I've never played Blood Harvest. I know of it. Like, it's something I keep wanting to grab a copy of, but I have not seen it in the wild in a long time. Yeah, and I'm back here now. So it was either someone in that cave or someone behind the fucking boss room. God damn it. Uh, well, let's see. I mean, I have Metroid... Metroid 2, the GBA, uh, the DS, I have Prime 1 and 3? Oh, hi, Algil. Fun me. I don't think I have Prime 2. But uh, yeah, Prime 1's really the only one I really devoted uh, any real amount of time to. I never really got around to playing any of the other little Metroids. I mean, I, I played Metroid 1 and... and, uh, I think a little of the Game Boy one, but I mean, like... But I mean, like, not like a... Like, probably the one I probably played the most other than Prime was the original. And that was mostly just spending all the time being lost. Constantly. I have, uh... I'm pretty sure I have Supal. I don't know about the best. I mean, obviously I have to play through it. I mean, I've always heard it's really good. I'm pretty... I think I had Supal. I think I did. I mean, considering I'm not really big in the Metroid games, I mean, like, I like Metroidvanias, not really Metroids. The best one in Dan Alkey's opinion. Well, never get, uh, you, you, you never want to talk to Andrew Dobson, then. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. Never get in a debate with Andrew Dobson on that one. Oh, I got, uh, speaking of Andrew Dobson, I, 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 uh, of course have the notorious Metroid M. I got that, I think I also bought that for you, too, didn't I, Dan? Like, I bought, like, three copies from Goodwill that were, like, dirt cheap. And I believe I sent one of those with a few other games to Dan. I think it was that and, uh... Bravely Default 2, I think. Wasn't it? Oh... Andrew Dobson was probably the closest thing you would get to Darkside Phil when it comes to being an artist, probably. <laughs> I thought so. Yeah, Andrew Dobson's probably the closest you're gonna get to, like, Dockside Phil in action. When it comes to art. I think Dan just means best. Well, did he mean best game or just best Metroid? I'm not sure. Well, actually, probably he's probably in regards to like opinions, he's probably more comparable to Movie Bob, honestly. Like he's basically Movie Bob, but an artist. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't know. But yeah, Andrew Dobson, uh, he was a very notorious artist because he had, well, I mean, like, him, Movie Bob, and the Spoonie one are basically all comparable. They, their lives were completely destroyed from politics and twiddle. They were, like, just mind-fucked. Yeah, I'm more into Metroidvania games, not really Metroid. I like the RPG equipment mix with Metroid's mapping and sequence, but not so much just the straight-out platforming aspect. See that's back here. Yeah, see that's why I had to push one stone down. Oof. But yeah, Andrew Dobson, when it comes to the Metroid fan base, he had a huge argument with the Metroid fan base because he considered Other M uh, the best and Super the worst. The worst. He considered it the worst. Like. That's a... Uh... Ah, there it is. Okay. So it was behind the boss. Dan was white. Bam. I was like, I remember seeing it somewhere. Oh my goodness. That was a pain. So I'm assuming that's going to take us... Again to the same place. Oh, was there a... I might have to take a peek if there was a behind area of the other one. At least that one's closer to the actual boss. Oh dear. Hey, look, look, look just it, 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 not like like the whole place is a fucking maze, man. Can't fault the guy for a brain injury. Wait, what? <laughs> when he, so when he's we, tail did what? I'm confused by that comment. But yeah, uh, Andrew Dobson got into a big thing with uh, Metroid people over that. Um, he's probably most famous for obviously his insane. Wants of like Spoony Teal, Movie Bob Spoony Teal, Twiddle Wants of like posting like 50 plus tweets a fucking day, ranting about politics like he has no life or responsibilities to do anything else. And then there was of course his secrets. <laughs> but uh, you can look that up. <laughs> Oh, no, you know, I actually thought about maybe doing a video on, uh, there was, like, this big, big, giant, like, voting poll thing that happened recently that Ocarina Time won. Like, I'm just, like, I'm in the, the side that Ocarina Time, for its time, was meaningful kind of thing, because, you know, a lot of games forced entry into 3D really, Willy really sucked. Not a lot of entries had a very, f series had a very forced, good forced 3D outing. And Ocarina at the time was one of the few that went well. But honestly, compared to Majora's Mask and many other Zelda games, including even past ones like Link to the Past, Ocarina at time is... Really, like, to me, its importance is more about bringing Zelda into 3D so much it being a good Zelda game, if that makes sense. Like, it laid the groundwork for, like, like, Majora's Mask and such. Let's 
say it fat we tail did say it fast we tail did we tail did say it fast and and I, I don't know. anyway um there was a big poll thing recently that I was thinking of maybe doing a video uh, talking about like each black and just kind of like not necessarily saying they don't have the right to the, any of these opinions at all. Like, everyone's going to have a different best and what's great and not. Like, I don't think that's in the world. Uh, I think everyone can have fail, uh... Tall, wait. Tall. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. We tall did say it fast. We tall say it fast. We tall did say it fast. We tall... I'm not sure. I'm, I'm confused what's going on anymore now. <laughs> anyway, uh... But yeah, I thought about, like, talking about how, like, it ultimately ended up with, uh, Oakling at a time as the... the... Um, the winner of all of it. I mean, like, it even had Elden Wing on it. Like, it has all kinds of games on it. It's, it's kinda, like... It's kind of hard for me to think someone really consider Ocarina of Time better than literally, like, everything. I mean, even back in the day, I considered Link to the Past better than Ocarina of Time. Like I said, I think Ocarina of Time is more, like, important than the fact that it was able to successfully bring Zelda into 3D. But, like, it had really blah visuals. I mean, I mean and, you know, I get we're talking about the N64, but, I mean, even, like, fucking Majora's Mask had such much nicer looking shit and like I don't know <laughs> maybe I'm just crazy Metroid Prime Wink 10 had to toss something and then you had to do it again yeah anyway I I'm gonna go take a quick break and then we'll continue on into the giant weird furnace thing so I'll I'll be Wait, you're crazy? What? Who's crazy? What? Thinking that Link to the Past is better than all Queen of Time? Oh no, is Pat a all Queen of Time Master Waste person? Oh no. I don't know, like, I, like, Link to the Past still holds up, like, compared to many Zelda games, in my opinion. Like, out of, like, the early 3D ones, I definitely like Majora's Mask more than Ocarina of Time. Now, I understand why people don't like Majora's Mask at a gameplay level. But, like, visually, I think Majora's Mask was better. Had a lot more unique looking characters on top of the we using characters that were from Ocarina of Time being, you know, alternate universelessness. Have you seen the Princess Peach Showtime? I hold it's actually fun, but I have not played it or even looked at gameplay of it. Oh, well, I mean, obviously, if we're talking about off of them, I'm talking about on, like, just comparing Ocarina of Time with something on the same system, like Majora's Mask. Now, if we're talking about all of the 3D Zelda games, that's a lot more of a complicated question. Hmm. I, I, I like... I haven't, I haven't played Tears of Breath, so I can't really comment too much on the aesthetics on those. I mean, I did like the 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 visuals of Twilight, but I just thought it was a lot lot more like cash in. But still, it, it, it's 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 on the same hardware and the the need for the expansion is debatable like a lot of people debate on if the expansion even was really necessary for some of the games like but i'm not gonna get into that that's a lot of technical stuff i think it's best is to watch gameplay because it, it spoils your 
you content, fun ideas, best is it? I, I do, uh, I do prefer to play blindly, but, you know, there is this one point where you just kind of like, I don't know where the fuck I'm going at this point after so long. I know since I regretted watching footage on Twitch recently, but from what I know, it's a lot of... Oh, yeah, like, I mean, the only thing I know about the, the, the first one is that you, you can go to the end, like, immediately. Like, I don't, I don't really know anything about either of the two games. Um, see, the, the people make that argument, especially with uh, the Donkey Kong game. But, you know, like, like I said, that I don't know the technical ins and outs of the N64, so I'm not throwing my opinion into that. But there were plenty of videos that debate on whether it was or wasn't and all that jazz.